everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Okay, guys, I have like a huge cough drop in my mouth. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to take it out. Yeah, because it's going to help my throat because I have crazy bad sinus problems. But uh, it's probably going to impact and impede the video too much. Okay, so it is what it is. But after the video is over, I will be back to that huge cough drop. Now, I want to talk about um, Batcher Sunblock today. You guys know I'm a huge, huge, huge lover of the of the Badger brand products. Badger Balm, Badger brand. Love their products. Use them forever. I might have to stop and take a drink. I know, distractions, it's life. <laughs> yes, it happens. Okay, um... Anyways, I love to buy their products. I like to buy the Badger products from Vitacost.com, LuckyVitamin.com, and from SwansonsVitamins.com. Basically, just because the price points are really good and I get more bang for my buck, you know, and the prices are cheaper. So, anyhow, um, I love their sunblock. I've talked about their sunblock before, but it's been a hot minute since I have done a review on their sunblock. So, here I am. Okay, so this is the Badger Active Unscented, which I love that. It's unscented. I love, love, love it. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Natural Mineral Sunblock Cream. Okay, so um, it says it is, let's see. Let's get a close look so we can all kind of read along together here, you know. Okay, so... I already told you what it is. This is the Unscented uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Natural Mineral Sunblock Cream. Okay, it says safe, effective, and uh, what's it say? Family friendly. Okay. And it is water resistant up to 40, what's it say? 40 minutes? 41 minutes? 40 minutes. Water resistant up to 40 minutes, uh, non-GMO, not genetically mutated, non-nano particles, which I love that. And it is, what is it? Biodegradable. Okay, and it says it is 98% organic ingredients. Um, Non-nano zinc oxide is the type of sunblock that it is. And I'm going to go ahead and flip the tube over and just show you some ingredients back here. So you can get an idea of what it is all about. Because I always reveal everything to you guys. I never, never hide, never hide. Um... You know, and keep in mind, you guys, I'm not sponsored, I'm not affiliated, I'm not giving these products, you know, for free to lie to you guys or anything like that. You know, and it's unfortunate, it really is, that that happens, but these are just truly my favorite products. This is one of my favorite sunblocks. I absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick swatchy-watchy in my hand, and I'm just going to get into the performance of the product, how I feel about it, how it works for me, why I love it, and... Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm squeezing. I don't want to put incredible amount just on my hand because, for one, it's wasteful and, yeah, you know, it won't give an accurate viewing of it. Does that make sense? Does that really make sense? You know what I mean? If I just put a huge amount on my hand, how active, you know what I mean? How active, uh, accurate, <laughs> how active is that going to be? How accurate is that going to be? That's what I meant to say. Okay, so this is a mat I just put on my hand. Obviously, definitely if you're putting on your face you're going to need a lot more than this but it is just my hand and it's for the sake of making the video and letting you guys see the texture now first off the top reason i love it is like i said just to reiterate some information i probably said a few mementos ago um it is unscented so i love it it is truly fragrance free it's unscented it does not have that sunblock smell it doesn't have any um identifiable odors scents fragrance anything like that and I must say, I've absolutely 100% got to talk about it. You guys, I've got to talk about it. I've got to point it out. I've got crazy bad sinus problems. I have had a failed sin sinus surgery a few years ago that absolutely flunked. And uh, a scent sensitivity issue. I'm extremely sensitive to strong smells. And that includes sunblocks. I really don't like overpowering sunblocks because 
Um, I can't wear them for too long. This is something, honestly, I could wear this all day. I could wear this day in, day out. I could reapply it several times a day, which I do, and I absolutely love it. So I love that it has no fragrance. So if you're like me and you have crazy bed sinus problems or a scent sensitivity issue <laughs> like I've got, and I know it's no fun, you know, I got to throw in a couple chuckles and laughs here and there because it is what it is. And if you don't laugh at things throughout life, then you can't deal with them. So right. Anyhow, I'm going to um, spread this on about my hand here. Okay. Just working it onto the skin. Obviously, this is a zinc oxided based sunblock, so you're going to get a white cast to it. Um, but you know what? Honestly, with my experience with skincare, my experience with fun of the sun, swimming, sun, and, and outdoors all summer long, the best honestly the best really sunblock is it's obviously either clothing thick clothing and if you can't do thick clothing because obviously you can't swim in thick clothing zinc oxide that's just really the best of the best it is it is it is it is so if you get a little embarrassed about the white cast or you don't want to look like cast with a ghost or something like that you know um it might not be the option you know for you guys but for me, personally, I don't really mind that white cast, you know, so much. And honestly, I've used this uh, one underneath makeup. And if you put it on and you let it sit and penetrate onto the skin, the end of the skin for like 20 minutes, and then I come over the top of it with pressed powder. Uh, sometimes I use loose powder, but not that often. Like a pressed mineral powder over the top of it it doesn't look too bad it really doesn't look too bad now you might still get like some flashback from the camera uh flashing you know taking photos and pictures you might get a little a bit of a spook face appearance so keep that in mind obviously but i'm okay with that um pressed mineral powder over the top of it in makeup you know under eye concealer eyeshadow blush whatever lipstick yeah so just kind of rubbing it into the hand let you guys see what it looks like like I said absolutely love the fact it has no fragrance it has no scent I love the ingredients love 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 it it works really well out for swimming in the pool it is water resistant you know I do reapply my sunblock regularly don't think you're going to apply it once and then swim you know like four hours in the pool or whatever and think you're going to get away with that working you know what i mean you definitely have to reapply it anytime you swim anytime you guys are in the fun of the sun in the water you have to reapply sunblock no matter the strength of the sunblock no matter the brand of the sunblock no matter if it's zinc oxide uh, you know alba benzone whatever no matter what type of sunblock it is you still have to reapply so you know that's my little my little gripe session with sunblock is to tell you guys and let you guys know hey that you have to reapply sunblock you know what i mean you have to reapply it some people don't know this actually think that they can put sunblock on once a day and then go out and go for a swim a jog a run a bike ride and then at the end of the evening, they have a sunburn, you know, and, and, you know, this, oh, my sunblock didn't work. Well, no, the sunblock worked, but you didn't work with the sunblock. Does that make sense? So you have to really, you have to put in the work with sunblock. You really do, especially how long you're going to be in the sun. If you can predict it, you know, if you're only going to be out there 30, 40 minutes, you put it on once, you're good to go. You know, but if you're out there three, four, five, six hours, eight hours, whatever, you know, you're going to have to just reapply, 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 which, you know, if you do that, this is definitely effective. I love this. Love that it's fragrance free and it has the texture. I will like I would like to point this out too, that the texture is kind of similar to shea butter type of texture. It is hydrating. It is moisturizing. I have dry, sensitive skin, so I definitely have to talk about the texture and the moisturization of it. I love it. I, it's non burning. It's non stinging. It's non irritating. It doesn't like uh, get all sweaty and run down your skin or anything like that. And uh, that no smell is just getting me. I absolutely, I adore the fact no smell. I love it. What more can I say? It works for me. I love it. I love you. Bye, gorgeous.